it's 12.46 in the morning and we're finally going down the road to see what our boat looks like. Justin's driven the whole way. So, we'll see what it looks like. There's something wrong about arriving at a boat in the middle of the night. It was so quiet, we naturally found ourselves whispering. Some people live aboard here, whether or not they ever plan to leave. But I was nervous. The fear that somebody or something damaged the boat during our absence was constantly in the back of my mind. If it had been during the day, Things like this wouldn't bother me, but at night, it's just different. So we made a quick check for any occupants or damage, or the one thing a boat owner never wants to see, water, or any signs of it. But to my surprise, it was just like we left it. Nothing had changed. Now, I can start worrying about everything else. There is a series of battery disconnects in the engine rooms that must be rotated in order to get power to the 12 volt system. The yellow cords are for the 110 volt plugs and appliances, and it powers the inverter to charge the batteries. We plugged into the building next to us and switched on all the breakers. Alright, so we have power. It's 12.65. 12 volt power is up. Hey man, turn that switch on back there. Oh my god, we got a mess on our hands. Hold on, what is that? What? What? It what, smells something smells like shit? God damn. Huh? Yeah. Here. I need to get the power cords, man. With things in order, it was time to go to bed. And now the real work begins. Here's the hole we drilled for our supports. We gotta put an eye hook here. We gotta put an eye hook over there. And then we're gonna put a access point. Although mounting the attaching points was easy, the hard part we discovered was getting the lines that actually lift the boat to the proper length. After about 10 trips up to hoist it into place and then back down to adjust it, we gave up for the day. We needed a fresh set of legs to get it just right. The following day, with rested legs, I think we got it where it needs to be tucked up just far enough to avoid getting bashed by the waves. But sometimes, projects that have already been completed find themselves back on the to-do list. Like our Coolmatic portable freezer, Justin has already worked on it a few times, but it stopped working again. After a few checks with the voltage meter, it was a faulty switch that caused the problem. It's nice to see somebody work on a project when the mere act of fixing it becomes personal. It was time to move on to the next project. I picked up this used nav pod on eBay, but it's for a different size chart plotter. The plan is to modify it to fit the one I have. First, I had to trace a template onto my fabricated front face that will allow for a snug fit. Next, I'll cut out the shape on the outside and the template for the chart plotter. I'll then screw it onto the front face of the nav pod and seal the edge. But I don't have any idea if this will even work, but it's looking promising. This is what I have so far. 
But next time, we'll mount the nav pod to the hardtop and then install the new char plotter. We'll have a go at the Sirius weather receiver. We'll also install a new 12 volt panel. Then we'll take a stab at installing 840 watts of solar power. But that's for the next time. Fucking legs. I had it filmed up and everything.